Good morning, afternoon or evening, depending on what time of day you're watching this, or indeed whereabouts in the world you are. I'm Mod, and you're about to watch Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now, unfortunately, I'm doing this post-commentary style because for some reason it failed to record my audio. Um, so, let's kick off with a first question from Donga2121, who asked about how to mod a game. It's quite simple enough. Um, on this screen here, you'll see my profile. If you click on Edit or Create New, on the right-hand side, once you click on edit on you, you'll see a list of mods. See there, edit, and on the right hand side, active mods. Now to make the mods actually appear there, once you've downloaded the zip file that the mod is in, it will be in a SES file. You need to go to your username, my documents, Euro Truck Simulator 2 folder, and then in there is a folder called simply mod. And you drag the SES folder from there into that folder, and then you click on that mod once it appears in that little list and you're away. Now it doesn't mean you automatically get it, like say for example a bus. Now why am I waving the mouse around at this point? I'm not 100% sure. Um, well this is uh, interesting is it not? Why are we talking about Matilda here? Never mind, we shall take a job, we're going to have a look at what jobs are available from Sheffield and we're going to sort now by price per distance once we eventually select the right actual option. And we're just going to pick one that's going to give us a reasonable length of time to actually progress through the level. Through the level, through the trip. And actually do some talking through the video. And you know, because we like to talk, that's what we do on Euro Truck Simulator, we talk to fill up the time. Um, but yes, back to the modding though, real quick. I did actually inbox Donga2121, but if anybody needs me to go over that properly in a video, then leave a comment and I'll show you properly how to do that in a video at some point. Anyway, we, it looks like we're going for the cement, so that will give us a decent amount of time to talk. We have a trip across the channel tunnel by the looks of it. So, yes, that'll do. We'll take that job and then we'll go pick up our cement. Um, the only problem I have with post commentary, by the way, guys, apart from the fact I won't be able to react to as much stuff, is well, it's not really a problem as such. I've got a really bad memory, so I've played this today just now, and I don't really remember much of what's happened already. Here's Matilda. Hello, you sexy beast. We haven't seen you for a while. Let's fire up the truck and get it going, because I'm sure a lot of you are expecting some sort of update this with regards to the charity work and papyrus. Well, after the last video was recorded on Monday and I said I was going to get in touch with papyrus, I emailed them straight away. Uploaded the video and bum 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 bum. Emailed them and s to date it is quarter to twelve on Friday morning. Very nearly midday. And at the last time of checking there has been no email from Papyrus to say one thing and the other about what's going on. Now you probably sat there wondering why have I bothered to contact Papyrus? Well, mostly because I would like a set some sort of PayPal account information from them so that I can set up a website as I may have discussed in the last video and I want to on this website have a plugin, a widget if you will, from just giving or I'm raising. I'm swinging towards I'm raising at the moment. Oh we just jumped in amber light there, that was very nearly red. Silly. And basically, we want to. Uh, I want the PayPal information. So when you guys donate money, I want it to go straight to them. I don't want to put my PayPal information in there. Just quickly have a look at the jobs. The cement one is still there. Yes. So we'll take it. But yes, um, we want to have the money going directly to Papyrus. Uh, I don't want the money going into my PayPal account because there's the whole trust issue. Do you really want to be giving me the money directly and trusting me to put it into the Papyrus account? Because they do have facilities to allow you to... Ooh! Discover the recruitment agency. Sweet! Uh, not that there's any good to us at this point in the game because we haven't bothered opening, expanding the garage or buying new, new trucks or anything like that. So extra income at this point is pointless. We're just going to the million miles after all. And this trip should add a good few miles to that quota. He hopes, he says. But I don't... I, it is possible to put money into a Papyrus account, but I'd rather do it through PayPal, for obvious reasons, because PayPal is much more secure. And 
I emailed them my suggestions as well for what I was going to do. I'm doing a million mile challenge for charity. Just quickly taking a moment here to do the screenshot that we have on the beginning of each video. There we go, set up the sat nav again. And uh, where are we going? Out and turn right. Yep. So, moving swiftly on then. Um, but they haven't got back in touch with me yet. But I've already said that, haven't I? I'm waffling. I'm repeating. Overly repeating this. Can't be doing with the repeating. Stay there. Stay. 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 No. Oh, damn it. Nearly got you. Very nearly got you. And a red light. Fantastic. We love these red lights, don't we? Yes, we do. So, um... Yeah. Hopefully, over the weekend, I'll have the chance to set up a proper website. Even if it's just a basic one. Get out of the way! The road is clear! Go! Now he's going. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's right. Fucking drive off like... Bloody Audi drivers. Thing which, there's a very, very funny video doing the rounds at the, m rounds at the moment. Um, I shall put it in the description, if I remember. I shall put the video in the description, but basically, there's a little old lady walking across the zebra crossing, and a guy is sat there beeping his horn at her. I won't say any more, because it is hilarious. It is brilliant. It's funny. And it is worth watching. And it needs to become, like, viral or something, I suppose, is the best way of putting that. <coughs> Excuse me. So, website setting up, get the widget on there, and hopefully, before we get too far into this, we can actually start thinking about raising some money for charity. Uh, I, I contact, when I contact, contacted Papyrus, I told them that about the ideas that I have coming up. Like, for example, one of the ideas, if we hit a target of a certain goal, then I would get onto a, li a live stream. I'll buy a web webcam just for the occasion, and I shall shave my hair off on live stream for everybody. Hell, I might even get the lovely Murtai to help me. Murtai being my real life girlfriend, who and she's awesome and been an absolute rock and support for me during my own darkness. And Papyrus, in case anybody's forgetting, is a charity that deals with um, eliminating teenage suicides and dealing with the causes of teenage suicides and removing the stigma uh, stigma associated with suicides. Now, for me, this is a the suicide itself, I have a really wonderful attitude when it comes to life and death. As in, they're dead, it was going to happen at some point, yay. Some, the how they're dead is sometimes tricky, but at the end of the day, if someone's dead, I'm not, I don't mourn people. I was very close to my nan when she passed away. She didn't kill herself, she, it was natural causes in a recent scandal. In, so it wasn't really that natural, I suppose. But there was a scandal in the UK at Stafford Hospital, and my nan was there, and we're pretty sure that she was neglected by them. She con she contracted pneumonia and went in her sleep. Ouch! I've taken no damage. How has that happened? What's the point she's trying to make? Nan. Yeah, but she, me and my nan were pretty close, but I didn't mourn her. And we've lost pets in the past, and I didn't mourn them, and my attitude towards death, and people actually being gone, sucks, if I'm honest. I don't have that sense of loss, because they're in a better place, surely, and it's up to us to move on and get on with our lives. Can't hang around forever. But the actual causes of these suicides are the depressions. A depression, I should say. Depression is something I've got a huge amount of experience with. I've been there myself, and... Lots of people, including Murtai, have helped me out with this. Watson, Tort, Tort especially, big credit to Tort for helping me out with my own depression. So it's nice. It'd be nice to give something back. And if um, by dealing with depression, we can deal with suicides, then I'm all for that because depression is the main reason people commit suicide. We're just going to pull up for a moment and have a quick snooze. There's no point taking on fuel just yet. Turn off the engine and snoozeness. There we go. Sleepy, sleepy. Ah, it's dark, so now it's time to... to, to, to oh, shit. <laughs> I said I forgot what happened during this run, didn't I? Um, I pressed the sleep button twice. For some reason, the... Um, on my Xbox 360 controller, I have it set up so that the back button is engine off, and the start button is stuff like activating events, such as skipping a, a parking routine, or sleeping 
Right, let's start the engine. I've hit the start button. I'm a smart cookie. Very, very smart cookie. So yes, anyway, if anybody from Papyrus happens to be watching this video, pull your fingers out, get back in touch with me, so I can actually start doing some proper fundraising. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to set up the widget and put it in my account name and just actually hope people trust me to put it into your account. Because, hey, that's how we roll, right? I don't get it. You want to do something good and you don't hear anything back. But I'm sure there's a good reason for having not heard anything back in the best part of three or four days. As regards to the website itself, well, I want to make a website anyway to... Oh, what's the speed limit around here? Is it 50? I think it's 50 around here. But never mind. Um, the website itself, I want to do something specifically for the channel anyway. Because there's a whole load of stuff on the channel at the moment. We've got Minecraft, we've got Formula One, Euro Truck. The main focus for the channel in the first place was originally Minecraft, and we uh, there's a workaround to get back the missing footage from stage two. It's not pretty, going to be pretty, but we'll get the footage back. It basically involves it won't render, but it will play. So we're going to take this footage, put it into something like Gom Player. Gom Player is awesome for those that haven't used it before. It plays just about anything, and if it can't play it, it'll download the codec for you and install it. So. I will, we'll play it in Gomplayer, get to the point we want to record, and then use Fraps to record it, to make it as lossless as possible. For some reason the original MP4 will not render, but if we change, if we re-record it so that it becomes an AVI in the Fraps codec, it should then be able to be recorded. Rendered even, we hope, touch wood. Hmm. Hmm. Quick swig of coke, excuse me. Uh, in terms of the channel itself, it, it seems to be quite. It seems that uh, we're finally getting some structure down with how uploads are being scheduled for release. Uh, I've, I had to chat with Watson about this because I tried to tie in with his channel as well. I would try and talk to talk, but apart from his technical issues, which we'll come to in a bit, he doesn't ever upload or record anything. We love you, talk. So in the mo at the moment, it's looking like FTL goes out every two days. Sonic Adventure 2, a series that started since the last episode of Euro Truck, that's going out every three days, because I don't want to overwhelm people with Sonic. You don't want Sonic all the time, do you? If people wanted it, they'd watch it. But I wanted to play it because it's a damn fun game. I love Sonic Adventure 2, I really do. Uh, that's getting off subject, though. Formula 1, that goes up practice and qualifying on the Monday, and the race itself on the Wednesday. And I highly recommend you all watch the Bahrain race, practice we tend to talk about real F1 news and things that have happened lately and because there's the build up to the Formula 1 season in Melbourne in a week or two's time I think it's a week time I think it starts on the 16th I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% but I'm pretty sure it starts on the 16th and there's basically being the end of winter testing and the final driver changes and the team is possibly switching engines in the future. Lots of things to talk about at the moment in terms of, in terms of Formula One. Mm. Excuse me, that coke was gassy as hell. Um, hopefully, I'm saying um a lot less as well. If you're watching back a few of the videos, I noticed I say um 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 quite a lot. I can't say that's how I guarantee I'm working on it though, but hopefully, hopefully. F1 Monday, Wednesdays. Euro Truck, I want to now update that twice a week. Um, as much as I want to do stuff with Papyrus, I do have a million miles to drive. I want to get on with that. And we have to get on with that at some point. Otherwise, it will take us forever to get that done. And Minecraft, I would like that to go up on Wednesdays and Sundays. Which means I've got, from the point of recording this, I've got two days to find enough time to re-record the old footage and then render it and please let it go fucking through first time with the rendering. Uh, I started a Kerbal Space Program series and that's going to be on Thursdays if there's more demand then I can always slot in another day somewhere like say maybe Monday or Tuesday whichever. 
which leave, but however that does leave us a blatantly gap or blatantly obvious gap on Saturday. I had the reason I didn't say Kerbal on Saturday is because I've got it written down on a piece of paper in front of me. I've actually planned this episode out, and a lot of people have suggested to me, not just in the comments but on various forums I frequent around the internet, that I should consider a RTS. And I've looked at my Steam library, and I have two RTSs. Dawn of War and Command and Conquer Tiberium Wars. I know Tort would very much like to see Tiberium Wars, but I wasn't that impressed with it when I played it. However, Dawn of War, I have an active interest in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. I know that a few people would be more interested in seeing that than Command and Conquer. And so I'm swinging towards playing that. I may have mentioned in the last video that I'm going to a gaming convention in June to Oh, we don't want to turn off there. Get straight, get straight. May have mentioned that the uh, gaming convention, I'm going to be taking my Space Crusade box set, and I'm in the process of painting up my miniatures at the moment. Yesterday I did a test run for the Imperial Fist, Blood Angels, and Ultramarines. One of each was painted up in just the base colours, just so I could see how much work needs to be done. The, the new Citadel range of colours are brilliant, they're nowhere near as thick as they used to be. They've got good coverage. The blue is a bit dark for my liking, but a lighter blue dry brush on top will take care of that easily. Which reminds me I should go into town at some point and buy some more paint. The Blood Angels should come out okay. The Imperial Fists need something a bit yellower on top of them, because at the moment they just look like mustard. But the initial colour testing has gone really well, which I'm quite happy with. Bringing this back onto the subject of Dawn of War though. I've played that a bit. Uh, I haven't played it much in the way of multiplayer because multiplayer RTS is just something completely different altogether. Completely different. I'm not confident enough for that. But I have done a lot of skirmishes, and I do say I must say I like the Tau. Um, I, I was a big fan of them, but just before I knocked Warhammer 40,000 on the head, before it started getting expensive, and the whole thing about the greater good, the great big robots, the hovering mantis-shaped ships with massive rail guns on the top of them. What's not to like about them? They're awesome. They're not space marines either, and they actually believe in diplomacy rather than, yeah, you're here, we want it. Rah, smash! Oh, we do like these exterior shots. France is much, much prettier, I think, than England. I mean, what we've we got, we've got some hills and some trees, telephone pylons. Really interesting. If only the original commentary had actually recorded, I'm quite disappointed because that was going to be quite good. Instead of just rambling and I'm sure... I've, I've seen the sat nav change a few times and frankly I'm disappointed that it didn't record. See, I'm shaking my head. I'm nodding my head here for some reason. Why am I nodding my head here? I don't know. I don't know because I've forgotten. It must be something relevant. Stupid car, get away. We don't want you here. So yeah, that might be my Saturday slot. And of course, if it gets more, if the channel gets more popular, I might need a morning and an evening slot. Morning and evening could work, or would that be just too many videos? Because I'm having a lot of fun doing this, I really am. Although I have realised, because of um, getting to this video now, because I was a numpty and hit the sleep button twice, thinking I was starting up the engine, we are now massively behind. We are about four or five hours behind where we need to be. We're going to be late for this job. So I'm cutting all the corners I can. That's why I'm zigzagging across the road as I am. Not because I'm actually being bad at driving, but because I'm literally trying to save as much time as I can. Although, uh, the other thing that worries me as well at this point in the run is sleepness. We have... Um, I can't see on this render. It's too blurry. Damn you, Sony Vegas, why don't I just play this back in Gone Player? Eh. Lesson learned for next time, I suppose. But, um. Basically, long story short, we have about. We up, not including the Euro Tunnel, there's a two hour leeway to get ourselves rested again. Which makes this trip very difficult to do in one go without sleeping. So that'll be interesting to watch as we get towards the end of the run. Uh, computer stuff. I mentioned before about the big update 
Well, the computer has now settled down. It's running very nicely. Apart from when we get fl frame rate issues like that. Why is that happening? Is it loading up new part of the map? Is it a lag spike? I don't know. Come on, game. Come on. Play nice. There we go. Now then. Last night, I finally, finally got the computer overclocked again. When I purchased it from overclockers.co.uk, um, I it was a Intel i5, come on frame rate, an i5 3570K, supposedly overclocked to 4.5 gig. So uh, I got it into the computer, I got it in, I fired it up, I did all the tests, and it was only getting 3.6 gig. So I, because I work nine till half five during the week, apart from weeks such as these when I have time off because of operations. Um, I had no choice but to contact them via their email service, which has been really, really useful and friendly. I've only needed to email them twice, once to say I can't see the overclocks, and the second time when they said, i basically done what you said, and I just want to confirm I've done what you said and I can't see the overclocks, so then they've been like, oh, 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 tildy, tildy, tildy. Don't over rev the engine, jeez. Do you want to kill yourself? 60 speed limit up here, I don't need to worry too much about breaking the speed limit then. What's the point in that 60 mile per hour speed limit being signposted when you only got a top speed of 55? So, moving swiftly on then. Um, yes, overclockers, they told me what to do. Turns out there's actually a profile saved in the BIOS. I don't like playing in the BIOS, but they gave me very clear instructions. I went into the BIOS, activated their profile, and now we're back up to 4.4 gig. I'm not going to go go arguing over 0.1 gig for an overclocked processor. Really not. It's, it's not going to make much difference at the end of the day. But when I pay for 4.5 and I only get 3.6, so that's worth arguing over. So thank you to overclockers.co.uk. It's very important you go to .co.uk because the .com takes you to a forum. The, the overclockers.co.uk is the shop and it's highly recommended. Highly, highly recommended. Especially if you live in the UK. I don't know if they do international shipping or across Europe, but best shopping experience I've had for electronic components in a long time and I will be going back. I believe it's overclockers we used when we, when we built up Watson's Frig and I think he's saving up the money at the moment for a new graphics card so he can get his new custom shader working properly on Minecraft. Thinking of Watson, he's making a Let's Build series to tie in with our city construction challenge and he is basically showing people how he's built the houses he has made in Little Tuxton. Little Tuxton being the little hidden village that Watson built secretly in between episodes. We had a lot of downtime with my technical issues and then the whole Minecraft not wanting to render, so one day we all just said, sod it, we're fed up, let's just record what we, something new, and Watson's like, by the way, look over there, and there's an entire village that he's built up over the space of a month, which is very, very impressive, so if you want, the only problem is he's got, because he's just starting out in the recording, he's got teething issues himself, such as audio levels are a bit quiet, such are, and so on and so forth, so if you are patient enough with my problems, you'll be more than happy to watch his videos, because they're entertaining. Also, it's a rare moment where Watson's actually being serious. Apparently when he's around us, he decides to be the Joker and... Oh, lag! There we go again. He decides to be the Joker and play up a bit. But on his own, when he wants to be serious, he's quite serious, and he's taken his new Minecraft series quite seriously. Up until the most recent episode. Which is a special one aimed at our friend Tort333, who is awesome. We love Tort, yes we do. Like a brother, not like a homo. Although if you're homosexual, there is no issue with you. I'm not homophobic. Just thought I'd get that out there now before I get up the torrent of comments saying, Maud, you're a homophobe. No, no, far from, far, far from. I'm not bisexual, I'm just very, very open-minded about stuff. And I'm not gay. <laughs> But anyway, um, so, computer, overclocked, finally. Test it out. Power goes in the house. I didn't know this at the time. But, um, I thought I'd just killed my computer. I have an Acasa 850 watt power pack, 
my alarm clock stayed on because it's got battery backup and I didn't realise I had a power cut. I thought the power pack had failed so I'm sat there thinking, turn on, turn on. It, in the space of five minutes we had four power cuts it turns out and only found out it was really a power cut when Watson came upstairs. He lives down underneath us at the moment but he just came upstairs and said, Mod, have you had a power cut? Yes, I have actually. And a quick investigation on the local area's forums in told me that there was indeed power cuts at about quarter to three in the morning last night. So it wasn't just the house, it was the local area. So my problem's thinking, oh I've overclocked it, I've killed the fuses to the house, or I've, over I've done something wrong, or... No need to worry there. No need to worry. Although Tort seems to unfortunately have some problems of his own. Um, just when we finally get my computer sorted and Watson's computer sorted, we're thinking, right, let's help Tort with his. Let's replace his constantly blue screening OS with a new hard drive and Windows 7. I'll buy, I'll buy, I'll buy it. I'll install it. I'll do it all for him. All he has to do is reinstall all the old programs. Not a problem. But we can't do that because his monitor died. He had a power surge in his area recently as well, and it seems to have taken out some important component inside his monitor. The important component in question being the one that allows him to view images. It'll power up, he can view some stuff, but he can't get free view, he can't get his PC. So, yeah, fun times there, I suppose. I, may, I mentioned before, I am currently off work. I've record, it's now 5 past 12 as I'm recording this. I should be at work now on my 9 till 5 or 9 till half 5 job. I should be at work, but I had a minor operation for something last week and I'm still recovering from it. I went into work on Monday and everything was okay until somebody walked into me and knocked a delicate part and then yeah, it didn't go quite to plan. I d have taken the rest of the week off work sick. It's going to count against me quite badly cuz it's been a busy week and I'm I feel quite bad for the lads. I feel like I've left them in the lurch. Especially since um, the role I play is reasonably important. I do. I may have mentioned it before. I do the, li the local deliveries and a three-wheeled electric tuk-tuk. It's manufactured by Bradshaw. It's a lot of fun to drive, and uh, it's just frustrating that I feel. I honestly feel like I let the like, guys down. I'm not going to say what the what the operation is because there's no point. But I have. That's why I'm off work at the moment recording this, and that's probably why there's been so many videos, because I've got nothing else to do. And because I've been in quite a lot of pain, murtai has been very, very kind and sat at home, waiting for me to get better so she could come around. There's, in my bedroom, there's only enough space for a single bed, and I need as much space as I can get right now. So I'm... Ooh, that's loaner installments. So far, a penalty-free drive. But murtai has been absolutely awesome. She's uh, as much as I'd like somebody to be here looking after me. I need the space to sprawl out and relax a bit more. So many, many thanks to Murtai for looking after me by not looking after me. It makes sense to us. So yeah. What else have we got? Charity update, computer channel. Yeah. There is a question, another question, I mentioned about how to mod your game in this to, to open up the video. And now we'll continue with a second question from Shoney500. How do you make your videos in such high quality mod? Um, it's a tricky question to explain really in w without typing it down. I'm far more eloquent at typing an explanation. I already replied to his message, but I, I feel like answering it on the video because apart from the whole it might help actually explaining as we're going. Fills up air time, we've got another... Let's have a look here. Half an hour to go? Oh, jeez. I didn't think that through. Yeah, post-commentary. And because this is a million mile challenge, we can't cut footage. No, we can't cut footage. We have to show every single mile. Otherwise it's cheating. Otherwise it could be like, cut and then play around with some setting and then... Assuming it's a setting to play with and then... Yeah, we just added another 10 million miles on. Woo! No, that's not how we roll here. We're recording every single mile. But no, Shoney500 has asked how do I record such high quality videos? Because he's trying to record videos in his own channel and he's wondering how it works. So, 
the biggest tip is to first of all look at your rendering program. I'm using Sony Vegas, but a lot of people will be using uh, Windows Movie Maker. This is where you put your raw footage and edit it, and eventually convert it into something smaller and uploadable. This is called rendering. And I render usually in the format I recorded. Oh, oh, no, no! Shh! Sorry, Tildy! Sorry, sorry, Tildy! Watch out behind me! Sorry, Tildy! Uh, that's gonna hurt the wallet later. Sorry, Tildy! Very, very sorry, Tildy! Shit! That's the first page of Smash we've had in Tildy, I think. Major, anyway. Let's just quickly check again for okay we're not checking again we'll just pull out yeah I thought we we're gonna check again and see I honestly can't remember what happened during this run I do remember though getting quite stressy about the time we haven't even got to Felix though yet for the, or Calais or to Dover wherever the channel tunnel is because that's where we're going and we haven't even got onto the channel and oh although it is appearing in the distance now yay for channel Channel? Channel tunnel. Channel. Yeah. I like that. Channel. Watching out for the traffic here. But yes, um Find out what your program can actually render in. Sony Vegas is quite flexible in that you can choose what sizes you render in, but Windows Movie Maker tends to only re render in four by three or sixteen by nine formats. And my monitor is 16x10, meaning I'd have to change the resolution of the game itself. So the two main resolutions you want to record in are 1280x720, which is what you use for 720p, or you can record in 1920x1080, is it? I think it's 1920, and that's what gives you your 1080p. And I'm planning on upgrading my monitor at some point to the 1080 one so I can give everybody an even more awesome graphical experience and ooh, which road do we take? I think we've overshot a bit too much for that one so we'll take the next one yeah the next one works now we just have to get down the ramp and actually on the trailer that would be interesting so yeah you've established what what you can render to you've established what your program can actually then uh, you've, then you need to establish what your video game is playing in and maybe change the resolution of it. I'm playing Euro Truck. Ow! What am I hitting there? There's nothing there to hit. And this is just a clipping issue with actually getting onto the trailer. Sod it. That'll do. Off to Cali we go. Embark, please. Click. That's right. Steal my money, why don't you? So, um, as an example, F1 2012, I run in windowed mode at 1280 by 720 And then I put that into Sony Vegas and I alter the sizes accordingly. It's important to, uh, when you're recording for YouTube, record it in a 16 by 9 format, such as 1280 by 720 If you Google up a list of 16 by 9 resolutions, then that should give you some sort of head start or a ha helping start towards what to actually do or what resolution you need to be running your game in also don't record in anything higher than 30 frames per second because YouTube only plays back in 30 frames per second ah engine engine Tildy stop it why do you keep doing that bad truck bad we need, we need you to last a million miles. You can't do that if you keep killing your engine. Ah, <sighs> this truck will be the death of me, I swear. Why does this have to be such a long-winded way back to the main road? Anyway, we want to be sticking on the right here because we're in France. Let's just sod it as they sit at the middle line. Um, so, rendering program, what we can actually render in. Game, what resolutions we can actually play. And finally, recording program itself. I orig I did use XSplit at one point because it renders some tiny files but I found that when it comes to actually trying to convert it into end product something you can upload it's really really horrible oh 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 bus stop stop bus stop. Oh. 
Okay, if I try and turn here, you're just gonna stay there and I'm gonna hit you. So, fine, go past, go past. Anybody else? Come on. Come on. Now, if we're coming from the right, from the left, from the right, go, go, before anybody else comes, go, go. Oh god, we're really cutting this fine now. We're gonna be late, we're gonna be late. Haven't really spoken much about this journey at all, but we're going to be delayed quite badly, I think. Although, more worryingly, we are getting rather pressed for time on sleeping as well. It's been a clean run so far, no penalties for hitting anybody. Although, now we are in France, I think it would be a good idea, there we are, gameplay, to switch back to kilometres. Because I have a problem with, because I've been living in the UK all my life, I am only ever used to miles and we never use kilometres over here. Never, never use kilometres. Never known anybody actually discuss kilometres, to be honest with you. So, we have to change our speedo to read out in European format. Now we're over on the mainland. Let's turn down here. We'll get back to the video recording in a bit. But, this is... Ew. Calais, this is France. It's supposed to be prettier than this. What's that? Desert shrubbery shite on the right? It's awful and steady, 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 we don't want to roll it. Steady, steady, tildy, steady, stead, steady. Good tildy. Go, 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 go. 70 kilometer an hour, what's that in miles? 50? 60? 40? I don't know. I do not know. So, rather than trying to work it out, I've just changed to set the speedo. Why not? It's there to be done, why not? So yeah, uh, I did use XSplit. It's brilliant for live streaming, but for recording it's not so brilliant. So, I actually paid out the money for Fraps. F-R-A-P-S. You can Google that yourselves, guys. I'm not putting that in the description. If you're too lazy to look up Fraps, then, well... <laughs> frankly. Um, it will cost you, in English money, about twenty nine ninety five, I think. I can't remember 100% how much it set me back. But it was enough. And, well, you can see for yourself how good the quality is. So, oh, rain, lights on, windscreen wipers. There we go. Good tildy. Good, reliable tildy. Now, at this point, we can't afford any cock-ups. We're running quite close to time when it comes to sleep. I'm pretty sure we're going to be late, but when it comes to resting, it this is very tight to make on one trip. Very, very tight to make on one trip. So we can't afford any more cock-ups now. No more cock-ups. So, you've got your rendering program, you've got your recording program, and you've got your game. You'll need a good quality microphone. I use a Microsoft LX 3000 chat. It does the job. I've got to play with the audio levels to actually make it come out more crisp because I think I can go from really, really quiet talking to booming like a douchebag. If for some reason you can't record your commentary at the same time as the game, which is what I try to do then you'll just have to play the game back and record in Audacity. Audacity. Audacity is a free program. Again, Google, look it up. So yeah, that's it. Make sure you check your rendering options before you actually do the render. Um, I noticed when I tried if before to do 1080p resolu uh, resolution. Oh! Yes, a warning, we're going to be late. We've got an, an hour or two to go. Yeah. So now the really, really awesome music kicks in. Sounds a bit like 8-bit, actually. But, um, the rest is just a case of looking up tutorials online and going... carrying on as you go along. That's honestly the best advice I can give you. Because that's how I did it, I taught myself. What else is that we can talk about? Nothing much, so let's just concentrate on the run then. 
Nothing in blind spot. Nothing over there. Come on, we're gonna be late. We're gonna be late. Come on, keep going, Tildy. Keep going. Gotta say though, apart from that little shitty bit of grass when we first entered Calais, when we first got into the motorways, are there cool motorways over here? What's the French for motorway? I know the Germans have got their autobahns. Oh, ooh, pause there. Speed change, is it? I'm not sure. Curse me for watching this back in Sony Vegas instead of doing it full screen and gone. I've lost so much detail, I can't see anything properly. It's all blurry. Why? Why? Hey, Mr. Truck, stay there. I'm going to come on the outside. Yes. Well, we haven't done so bad in with. Oh, oh, close. We haven't done so bad so far, actually. Apart from sleeping twice, like a numpty. But I've managed to talk solidly for 40 minutes. Yay. With very little in the way of pausing or repeating. I hope. Let's just hog the hard shoulder for a bit. Because we can. Is that? is that a Citroen? I like that in this game you can actually recognise most of the... Oh, that's pretty. Railway line. Yay! We love railway line. But I love that you can recognise most of the... Um, the cars in this game. I think there's only one I've seen so far. Which is a big SUV. And I think it's a Mercedes, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we're changing camera at the moment because we're trying to spice things up for you guys at home rather than just sit watching it from the same point of view. There's only so much you can do to make a trip from one place to another interesting. It's Euro Truck for crying out loud. What was I saying now? Oh, I've forgotten already. Yes. Um, they're blatantly ripped off from their original manufacturers. Like, you can tell a focus from a Fabia. It could tell a A5 from... I think there's an Octavia in this. Ah! Oh! Oh! I think I got away with that one. But... Oh. Um... Why am I up here? I don't go this way. Here's a gap on the left I can take. Yes, but it's not big enough. Nowhere near big enough. Hello, wouldn't even try to get there in a car. Oh yeah, traffic jump. Excuse me. I'm oh, coming back now. Come back. Now all I have to do is something which is um, very, very, very illegal. Guys, do not try this at home. In fact, to be honest, half the shit I get up to in this video I wouldn't try at home anyway. But seriously, this what I'm about to do now. Don't do this at home. It's called going the wrong way. In the wrong lane. Ah, tree. Come on, Matilda. Come on. Let's stick over on the grass, though, just in case anybody does decide to be an idiot and hit his head on. We can't afford any more damage at this point. And yeah, you know what I'm saying about we can't have any more cock ups, not allowed to be late anymore? I think that's just gone out the window. This is now going to be very tight in terms of resting. Whoa, slam on the anchors. Ah! Is the slam on the anchors not hit something else to make us stop? Have we got enough space to swing around? Yes, just about blocking the road so no one can actually get to uh, get in between us and where we're going. Yeah, that's that's just stupidly tight now. Oh dear. Not good. Not freaking good at all. Ooh, just noticed something. On our mileometer. Speedometer? Speedometer, yes. I've been wondering, is the Mercedes interior broken at all? Because there's no way of knowing how many miles you've racked up in total without having to pause it and go and looking at the right hand side, but there is, there's a proper mileometer. Tachyometer, mileometer? I don't know what it's called. The, the bit that racks up how many, mi how many miles you've done. And it's there, just there. That'll be a lot clearer when I eventually switch up to 1080p. Which is the plan. I'm looking at the moment into monitors. That are, uh, what is it, a 22 inch monitor is it they say? 
but at bare minimum I need the 1920 by 1080 I think that's the resolution that gives you the full 1080 in 16 by 9 format I'll be happy with that, very happy but anyway we're gonna be late we're gonna be late one minute one minute and we're late! Woohoo! Oh dear damage limitation time foot down can't afford to stop for resting anymore go 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 in fact how far have we got to go to our destination Luxembourg is oh I'm oh, not that bad so another 10 15 minutes of real life time the miles are racking up though jeez what's that in miles I can't tell that in kilometers what is it in miles over a thousand yay must have missed that one fantastic let's switch it back to kilometers before we drive on real quick and uh, back to the awesome music that is these very very slightly it sounds like remix 8 bit I think it's very awesome even if it is the same tune over and over is it going to keep on playing until we get to our destination no I don't know so there's only one way to find out and let's just charge and ah another Citroen why at least you cut in a lot further up the road is it just ch turning in front of me at the last as soon as you get the chance not too happy about the damage we're taking on Tildy though I think when we get to Luxembourg we're gonna have to treat Tildy to some new bits definitely need servicing definitely need servicing and then we need to rest up and we need to treat Tildy to some new pieces because we can Tildy deserves it after this little trip no slowing down time rests for no one and all that jazz charge come on we're almost there there we go another idiot dispatched didn't you overtake us a few minutes ago and then you slow down and go th what's the point in that what was the point this is our turning here whoa whoa what's the point of me overshooting you then oh never mind bloody sat I'm, gonna I'm just gonna blame the sat nav anyway still haven't taken a hit we're doing good I haven't had any penalties I'm quite pleased with this run this is the longest we've gone so far without actually taking a penalty very very happy with that so far come on Matilda watch out on your right hand side ah nearly hit it nope Sorry, I had to readjust on the bed. Uh, very uncomfortable at the moment. Operation was... Oh, oh, transit van. Operation has knocked it out of me quite a bit. There goes focus. No, it's not focus. Is that a DS3? One thing I would like to see in the game is some older vehicles, though. You see, there are plenty of older trucks on the road, do you not? So why can't we see some older trucks in the game? Without having to mod it. And maybe some American trucks as well, because American trucks can be fantastic to look at. Not that I'm a truck fan at all. But, um, yeah. Can only ask so much, I suppose, out of the developers. To be fair, they've done a fantastic job of what we got. And, I can't wait for the expansion to come out when they introduce Eastern Europe, is it? Poland and. I don't know what the other countries are around Poland. Sorry guys, no offence. I don't actually know my geography that well when it comes to Europe. Thinking of introductions to the game. The We Want Mercedes in Euro Truck Simulator 2 campaign. That's now grown to 3,100 likes at last time of checking. Which is fantastic. The guys in charge of that are quite happy with the response so far. I've taken the time to actually post the link to that on the main SCS forums in the Euro Truck section. Hopefully give them a bit more exposure and I'm also going to mention it now. I'm going to put the link for that in the description so if you do want to see Mercedes in the game then please do so. I personally would like to because um, as it stands I'm now driving 
in the form of the Majestic, the only non-licensed truck in the game. We've got a Volvo and Iveco and two Renault trucks and MAN and DAF, Scania. Is that all of them? I think that's all. I can't. I'm sure I'm missing one or two. But yes, I'm now driving the only truck which doesn't have a license, which makes Matilda a little more unique, I suppose. That little more special. We are running quite close on the needing to rest, though. We don't want to get a penalty for that. Not this close to home. Go on, Tilda. Come on. Yeah, see that majestic badge in the middle? Be nice to replace that with a Mercedes one. Oh, on the left! What is that, an Astra? Can't entirely tell. I'm assuming that's an Astra. Someone else is trying to come up behind us as well. Running out of things to say! Ah, this is not good. This is not good. I'm waffling now. I swear I'm waffling. Oh! Fairly sure that's a Picasso or a DS3. Is there a DS3 Picasso? It's French anyway. Let's spice up the view a bit. No, 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 I know I'm tired. Stop yawning. You don't need to do that to me. Let's see how long we, long we can survive in this view for. Oh, not long. <laughs> Come on, Matilda. Keep it straight for me, baby. Let's just keep zigzag zigzagging so no one can overtake us. Meanwhile, watch out for the cement. You've got to get it there. got to get it there. Ah, this is a lot prettier than earlier in France. A lot prettier. And also, check out that view. Wow. Is that Luxembourg in the distance? I think it might actually be Luxembourg. When the camera spins around. Ah, bridge. Bridge, bridge. Oh, there was a Luxembourg there, but... A pole? That's not good for my driving. We'll change the camera there, I think, because... How can we do that view when there's a ruddy pole in the way? They didn't think about that one very well, did they? No. Never mind. Rest area coming up. We're going to ignore it. We have to keep going. We have to keep going. Come on, Matilda. Nearly there. Come on, baby girl. We're nearly there. Nearly, nearly there. I'm not catching him in front very quickly. And those clouds look quite menacing. Is it going to rain again? I hope not. Be quite annoying if it rains again. Well, we're actually bothers, but you know. Oh yes, one thing I want to talk about. In my previous video, I moaned about how you don't feel that big compared to everything else around you. I still have that complaint. It's a personal one. It's not a criticism of the game. It's just more criticism of myself because I don't get that sensation of size. But what one thing I yes, yes, yes. One thing I do get the sensation of is the when the actual driving experience. I do feel like I'm driving a big ruddy truck. I mean, when I turn the wheel, it takes forever to actually respond, and it's a beast. Of oh, oh, oh! It's his fault. He drove into me then. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but it does feel like I'm driving a truck. It may not look, in my opinion, like I'm driving a truck that's huge and everything. But it does feel quite big to drive. Ah, there's Luxembourg on the map. Yes. We're turning off here. Euro goodies. What kind of thing is that? So close to home. Come on. Come on. Oh, no! No! No, we got so close! No! No! And no, as soon as I move out of the way, he starts moving. What's the hold up here? Come on! Oh, we made it all that way without a penalty! Oh! I am wounded! It's not good, and... Oh, what is the hold up? There's nothing... Sod it. I'm just gonna go. Go, 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 go. Oh, 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 we're getting close to them on the right. Oh! 
Just a bit too close there. Traffic coming out in front of that truck. Coming through, coming through. Oh, what are you? I don't know what you are, but I'm going to cut you up, I think, if I can get the chance. Ah, uh, ah, uh, get back. Aha, aha. There you go. Made you hit me. I don't think I took any damage from that. Ooh, the entrance into Luxembourg is quite ornate. Reminds me a bit of um, Bath. Bath in the UK is gorgeous if you're ever driving down there. You're just driving down a country lane, a country lane, and then you go into a motorway, I think. It's a motorway. Or is it just a really big A road? And, yay, Luxembourg discovered. But anyway, you're driving down, and then there's loads of trees in the way, and then suddenly the trees... Oh, red light, red light, red light, red light. Suddenly the trees disappear. And then you basically got a valley. You're basically driving down a valley. You got brick, brick wall at one side, brick wall at the other, and all you can see. Yeah, I'm here, Mr. Truck. Ha! <laughs> all you can see is the valley and Bath at the bottom, and it's just like ah, so pretty. Now, we're not taking this cement to ITCC. We're taking it just around the corner. Getting back to the subject of the game. Although, if that's, if there's a cement plant, why is it they can't just ship it from there to across the road? Why? Why have we come from all the way from Sheffield? Never red light. Come on. I know I'm getting tired. No, no, don't get drowsy. Wake up, wake up. Oh, green light, go. Now, that road sign there, the white and yellow with the three green lines, does anybody know where that is? I'd be more than happy to look it up on Google if nobody tells me. But just, you know, try to create a conversation, if I'm honest. I wouldn't mind knowing what half of these road signs are. Because they're a lot different to what we have in mainland Europe. But is it no parking? And there they are again, with no black lines through them. Ah, sand builders. Hello, sand builders. And, ah, oh, look at our parking area. That That's going to be an easy park. Oh, on the left. A person? An actual person. I haven't seen a person in Euro Truck yet. Let's get a better... Come on, camera. Camera, spin. Oh, oh, there we go. A person. A per um, <laughs> he's got the dumb. What's going on with his hands? Oh my god! Finally, we see a person. I swear. Um, when I first set this game up with the pretty settings, it said pedestrians on or off. So I set them to on. I've never, uh, uh, up until just now, haven't seen a pedestrian. Ah oh dear. Come on. First time, Tildy. First time. This is such an easy park compared to the ones we've had in the past. Yes! Done! And uh, yeah, we're late. <laughs> Should have expected that, really. Let's just. Um, level 9! Yay! Now, here's a question what do I actually spend my experience on? I don't actually know. Do I go for more long range or do I go for the fragile cargo? Because those are the ones I'm building up at the moment. Ideally, if I want to do a live stream of Euro Truck at some point, I want to be doing the long distance one. So that then I can basically cover a trip in one session. That would be an interesting live stream, but I'm balancing that against my need for money. Not that I need money, because it's all about racking up the miles at the moment for the million mile challenge. And we have well over a thousand miles into that now so it's no only another 998,999 or something like that to go <laughs> it's quite a lot I don't need to worry about eco driving just yet I don't think mm. range your money it'd be nice to at least get some extra income coming in eh, sod it we'll go for the extra money at the moment we've got good long size trips to actually fill up a YouTube episode and this one is going to be over the hour mark I think which is going to take forever to render and then subsequently upload it's going to be so frustrating anyway the mission the mission the uh, job is over so now let's find ourselves there we are on the map come on come on we're looking for services and there they are with two question marks underneath it okay although I can't set the sat nav why can't I set the sat nav for there? Please let me set sat nav. Nope. Can't set sat nav. Why are the city so tiny? Dagnam it. So it's. Where are we going again? 
We're looking for beds. Oh, there's beds next to surfaces. That's alright. We need to rest up as well. We don't have much time to take care of that either. So, if I'm right, we go out of the compound, turn right, turn right again, and go straight on. Should be easy enough. We'll stick in the exterior view for this, because, well, why not? Oh, traffic, traffic, traffic. Oh, and a red light. And there's a focus in our way. Yay. Oh, that'll do, Tildy. Steady. Whoa, 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 steady on, steady on. It's close enough, Jesus. Oh. Ooh. Do 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 Yay! I can play Jingle Bells with the truck. Yay! I don't know if Tildy likes that though. Don't overly care if I'm if I'm truthful. See so yeah, it there's surfaces at the end there. All we have to do now is find oh 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 green light go 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 keep going keep going keep going All we have to do now is find the way into there and that looks like it just up ahead right by the question marks so what have we got here? A recruitment agency not very good to us right now because we haven't expanded the garage and a Volvo dealer Yay Not that it matters because I'm not buying Volvos Although I wouldn't mind finding a big Mercedes dealership at some point so first of all let's Press the correct button this time. Sleepy sleep. Yes, there we go. Correct button to turn the engine on. Yeah, there we go. That was so difficult, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah. Mustn't press the same button next time. Anyway, there's a service ship station. So let's just jump in there and um, in. These brakes either don't work or they're too eager. Let's just switch it back to miles quickly so we can see the total done so far. And well over a thousand miles now. Yep, we're well and truly on track to getting towards the million mile challenge. First of all, let's repair Tildy. Just over four thousand pounds. I'm happy with that. And now we'll look greater. Cabs. Ooh, sleeper cab. Do we want to do that to Tildy? Does it make any difference? I think that's just aesthetics, isn't it? Could be wrong. How do I remove that? Oh. I can't go back to my old paint job. Um. Yeah. No. Let's just cancel the screen wheel real quick then. And we'll go back into it. Uh, middle one, there we go. Let's see what else we can do. Something new unlocked there, not just yet. Oh, new engine. More powerful engine. We shall have that, please. Yes. There you go, Tildy. New engine for you. Got the best drivetrain at the moment. Not entirely sure what the difference is between the two of them. Can't tell. Interior, exterior, accessories. No, we don't want that. It looks silly with two plates in the car. Painted mirrors? Does that mean the mirrors come out the same colour as the bodywork? What else can we do inside here? Um, not a lot in the interior really, is there? Mirrors, painted again. No, we don't want that. <coughs> Excuse me. What can we do to Tildy? That doesn't look stupid. Or do we have to wait till we get more levels before we can unlock cool stuff? Hmm. Spoil for choice here. Ooh, chrome handles. We'll have some of that. Yes, black and chrome looks quite nice, so we'll go for that. Uh, steps. They look more... They've got a strange vertical line, whereas they're more subtle, so we'll have them. And... Do they come out on the other side as well? I think they do. Mm. 
more chrome goodness and it looks like it comes out on the other side as well yeah yeah that's fine is that a fuel tank? oh side skirts that we can't unlock just yet maybe one more uh, they're not that pretty not that I ever get to see them at all much but meh beacon don't need a beacon yet light bar they look a little daft at the moment especially without lights which I can't be bothered with what else can we do? apart from a new engine we need something for facility that looks ridiculous Um, uh, that's a no. Definitely a no. No. Ah, oh, she's got a mouth. Tildy got a mouth. Ah, oh, a great big smiley face. Ah, oh, but no, it looks ridiculous. Some visor removes our front mirror that we don't use anyway, and it looks quite ugly. But I uh, don't really want to worry about that too much right now. I don't think. Is that it? Anything else we could do? What do the mirrors actually look like? Oh, Actually, they don't look too bad painted up, do they? Compared to stock. Let's just see what other paint jobs we got. That's a new paint job. Yay! And, oh, Um... It's different. Let's tweak the colours real quick. Black and white? Not bad. Black and black? Not bad. No. Uh, let's see if we can change the grey to be a bit more subtle. Or have more of a contrast between the two of them. Uh, no. Don't like it. Let's just get rid of those changes. So, there we have it. Let's not fire up the new engine just yet though, but that's been it. I'm Mod. Thank you very much for watching this rather long-winded episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, hopefully next time we'll have some better news regarding Papyrus. And don't forget to like the We Want Mercedes page. Anyway, cheers for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.